Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today we return to the Barrow series, which if you forgot is where I go for all of the Barrows drops from the original Barrows. So it's been a long time since I've updated you guys on this series. So if you forgot in the ending of the last episode, I got two double chests, one of them being a double unique and the other one being a double uh, duplicate. So the start of this episode, I was riding off of very, very good luck. And it seemed like it continued for a little bit. Uh, just five kills after that last double chest, I got a Derex Legs drop, which is unfortunately a duplicate, but it is 1.4 mil when I got it. So definitely a good drop. And then just four chests later, I got a Main Hand Carol's Pistol Crossbow, which happens to be a unique, so that right there I'm really psyched about. And it's 300k, so not too terrible. And honestly, it's just another thing to scratch off the list I have to get. And then this is where shit hit the fan. I went 42 chests dry in a row, which might not seem like much, but uh, considering I'm killing Linza every single time, and she takes forever to kill, like almost a minute herself, so it does really slow down my runs. And going this dry was kind of annoying, and it's kind of why I stopped doing Barrows for a little while. But Linza isn't all that evil, because at the end of the dry streak, on chest 196, I got a Linza Helm Drop. Which I got so excited for because I was thinking Linza items don't even exist because I was at, you know, almost 200 chests, haven't seen any yet. But there we go. I, I finally got at least one of the pieces so I know they're real. Plus it's like 5 mil. I'm not sure if it actually sells for that anymore because it's not the best set, honestly. Assuming it does sell for 5 mil, that is a fantastic drop. It would be one of the best Barrows items I can get other than the other Linza pieces. And one thing I want to say, I seem to have like a weird type of luck at Barrows. Like I go really, really lucky in a string of drops and then I go really dry like you saw earlier in the episode. Because four chests later after the Linza Helm, I got an Akrasai Skirt, which sadly is a duplicate. But body and leg pieces are amazing to get. Uh, this was 1.5 mil when I got it. But yeah, my luck just didn't end because seven chests later, I got a Torax Plate Body, which was my second one. And that's like 2.8 mil. It's one of the best items you can get that isn't a Linza piece. And not even joking, the very next chest, 208, I got another Torax Plate Body. Like, I don't think I've ever had a back-to-back -back drop of the same Barrows item. And the chances of that happening is so astronomically low. It's crazy. Basically, in two chests, I made 5.6 mil, excluding the commons. Like, holy shit. So yeah, definitely Barrows was loving me during this episode, and I did a couple more chests uh, after that, uh, did not get anything more, but I thought with the back-to-back -back chest and the Linza Helm, I felt like this was more than enough loot, especially when every single item except the Karos Crossbow was well over a mil. You'll see it later in the slides, but if you're wondering, this was 67 chests uh, during this one episode, and I got 6 items, so not a bad drop rate even with that big dry streak. So yeah, with all that said, let's go into the slides and see what has changed. All right, first, let's look at the Barrow's equipment. And the first thing you might be wondering is where the hell is the Linza Helm? Just wait, guys. You'll see it in just a bit. But um, everything on here is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to say this. Uh, I'm just super happy that I have a ton of legs and bodies so far. Like, the majority of my drops are either legs or the bodies which is where the bulk of the money is being made. So, seeing as I'm only on the third episode and I have this many, I'm going to make absolute bank here. Granted, I do have to still finish the series, so there's a long way to go, but I will have a huge stack of money at the end if I continue this type of luck. And as for the stats of the series, not much has changed in terms of the middle drops, like the Dragon, Medhelm, and the Key Halves, and the Trisks. None of that has changed in this episode. One thing on this slide that has changed is I added the Linza Helm and then the Elite Clue Scrolls. So I added the Elite Clue Scroll counter because someone in my last episode mentioned that I should because you do get them here. And I thought that was a good idea. And I do complete the Elite Clues, but I'm not going to be covering that in this series because I'm going to be doing separate loot videos and all that jazz with those at a later date. And as for the Linza Helm, I'm planning on having the entire set on this page because it's not going to be able to fit on the previous slide. Once I get more pieces, I'll probably be shifting around some items on this page to make enough room, and yeah, we'll worry about that later. I still don't have my second piece yet, so we'll just sit tight for now. So I think it's time to look at the price check. 
Okay, so you've seen all of the amounts of everything, so I don't have to go through all that, but you have not seen the charms. Um, not much has changed with those, so not much to mention, but it'll be something more to talk about later on in the series when it gets to, you know, good amounts. All right, so with all that said, let's just see what everything's worth. And it looks like it's about 42 mil. I'm just going to round up to that. And uh, you probably forgot, but the previous episode, we were at 20... 3.8 mil. So we're just going to round up to 24 for speaking sake. And that means I increased 18 mil since last time, which is a huge amount, um, mainly attributed to the Linza helm and all those Torax plate bodies. Like, really hope I get a bunch more of those. And uh, in just the third episode, we're at 42 mil. I think we're inching closer to a third of the way done, but it's not really a third of the way done in terms of time because it'll take a long time to get those last uniques. So we're not even close to finishing, but it's a nice step in that direction. So yeah, I think that concludes this episode and sorry for the long wait on this one, but shit happens. Motivation comes and goes, can't really help it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.